The line between artificial and biological intelligence has been erased. Chinese scientists have created a robot with a partially living brain, redefining our understanding of AI and robotics. This isn't science fiction, it's happening now, and it's about to change everything. A microchip hosting living brain cells now powers a machine that can learn and adapt like a biological organism. This breakthrough merges neuroscience with robotics, opening doors to revolutionary applications in medicine, technology, and beyond. But it also raises profound ethical questions we can't ignore. The birth of the biosilicon hybrid. In a Chinese lab, researchers have achieved what many thought impossible, a robot with a brain made partly of living cells. This brain on a chip uses stem cells to grow neurons in a lab, which are then carefully placed on a microchip, creating a living neural network. When integrated into a robot, this network allows it to process information and learn in ways that mimic human cognition. The team developed a specialized gel that acted as a scaffold for the cells, allowing them to form connections and create a functional neural network. This biosilicon brain can form new connections and pathways, effectively rewiring itself based on new information and experiences, just like a human brain. The new face of AI. Unlike traditional AI systems that follow pre-programmed instructions, this new biorobot can learn and adapt in ways that mimic biological systems. It doesn't just process information, it experiences it, forming new neural connections based on its interactions with the environment. In one experiment, the robot was presented with a maze. It learned the layout progressively, much like a lab rat would. It remembered dead ends and optimal routes, improving its performance over time without any additional programming. This ability to learn from experience represents a fundamental shift in how we approach artificial intelligence. Medical marvels, a window into the brain. This technology opens up new avenues for understanding and treating neurological disorders. The brain on a chip provides an unprecedented platform for studying brain function at a cellular level. Researchers can observe in real time how neurons form connections, react to stimuli, and process information. This could lead to breakthroughs in our understanding of conditions like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and epilepsy. Moreover, this technology could revolutionize drug testing for neurological treatments. Instead of relying on animal models or human trials, Researchers could test potential therapies on these lab-grown neural networks, speeding up the development of new treatments and reducing the need for animal testing. The $300 million bet on artificial brains. While Chinese researchers push the boundaries with living brain cells, tech giants are placing massive bets on purely artificial approaches. Jeff Bezos and SoftBank have invested $300 million in skilled AI, a startup aiming to build a fully artificial robot brain. Their goal is to create a general-purpose AI that can be installed in any robot, enabling it to perform complex tasks without specific programming for each action. This approach shares the same ultimate goal as the biosilicon hybrid, creating machines that can think and learn like humans. Skilled AI's vision of artificial general intelligence, AGI, could lead to robots that can adapt to new situations and environments without constant reprogramming. From lab to battlefield, the rise of military robotics. As researchers push the boundaries of AI and robotics in labs, others are already applying advanced robotics to military applications. Indian company Zen Technologies has unveiled Prahasta, a four-legged robot designed for defense operations. This isn't just another parkour bot. Prahasta can carry assault rifles and perform complex military tasks. Equipped with LiDAR technology and advanced AI, Prahasta can navigate difficult terrain climb stairs, and even carry a fully grown adult. Its auto-resurrection capability allows it to right itself if knocked over, ensuring continued operation in challenging environments. The ethics of thinking machines. As we venture into this new territory of biorobotic hybrids and increasingly intelligent machines, we're confronted with a host of ethical dilemmas. At what point does a robot with living brain cells become conscious? Do these machines deserve rights or protections? How do we ensure they're used responsibly, especially in military applications? These aren't just philosophical musings. They're pressing questions that society will need to grapple with as this technology advances. The development of robots with biological components blurs the line between machine and organism, challenging our definitions of life and consciousness. 
Neuromorphic computing, bridging silicon and synapse. The brain on a chip technology represents a convergence of neuroscience and computer science, giving rise to neuromorphic engineering. This field aims to create computer architectures that mimic the structure and function of biological neural networks. The biosilicon hybrid robot demonstrates how merging biological elements with artificial systems can create machines that think and learn more like living creatures. This approach could lead to computers that are not only more powerful, but also more energy efficient, as the human brain consumes far less power than current supercomputers while performing complex cognitive tasks. The Global AI Race, Innovation and Competition The development of biorobotic hybrids and advanced AI systems is part of a global race to dominate the field of artificial intelligence. China's breakthrough with the brain-on-a-chip technology represents a significant advance in this competition. The United States, with its tech giants and well-funded startups, is pushing hard in the realm of purely artificial general intelligence. Other countries like India, with its military robotics developments, are carving out niches in specific applications of AI and robotics. This competition is driving rapid innovation, but it also raises concerns about the potential militarization of AI and the need for international cooperation and regulation. Beyond robots, the future of human-machine interfaces. The implications of this technology extend far beyond standalone robots. The ability to interface living neural tissue with artificial systems opens up new possibilities for human-machine integration. Researchers are exploring ways to use similar technology to create more advanced prosthetics that can be directly controlled by a user's thoughts. This could dramatically improve the quality of life for individuals with limb loss or paralysis. Looking further into the future, some scientists speculate about the abilities through direct interfaces with artificial systems. While such applications remain in the realm of science fiction for now, the brain-on-a-chip technology brings us one step closer to these possibilities. Challenges and limitations, the road ahead. Despite the exciting potential of this technology, significant challenges remain. Maintaining the viability of living neural tissue over extended periods is a major hurdle. Researchers must ensure a constant supply of nutrients and the right environmental conditions to keep the brain cells alive and functioning. There are also questions about the scalability of this approach. While the current system demonstrates impressive capabilities, creating larger, more complex neural networks that can rival or surpass human-level cognition is still a distant goal. Moreover, there are concerns about the reproducibility and consistency of these biorobotic systems. Unlike purely artificial systems that can be exactly replicated, systems incorporating living components may exhibit more variability. The societal impact, preparing for a new reality. As this technology continues to advance, its impact will extend far beyond the realms of science and technology. It has the potential to reshape our economy, our workforce, and even our concept of what it means to be human. Industries ranging from healthcare to manufacturing could be revolutionized by robots capable of learning and adapting like biological organisms. This could lead to increased productivity and new solutions to complex problems, but it could also result in significant job displacement. Education systems will need to adapt to prepare students for a world where humans work alongside intelligent machines. From science fiction to science fact, What's next? The development of robots with partially living brains marks a significant milestone in the journey from science fiction to science fact. As this technology matures, we can expect to see more advanced biorobotic systems with greater capabilities. The line between artificial and biological intelligence will continue to blur, potentially leading to entirely new categories of intelligent systems. Researchers are already speculating about the possibility of creating more complex neural networks potentially even replicating entire regions of the human brain. While such developments are still far off, they underscore the vast potential of this field. The future of AI and robotics is no longer just about creating faster, more powerful machines. It's about creating systems that can think, learn, and adapt in ways that were once the sole province of biological organisms. As we stand on the brink of this new era, one thing is clear. The world of tomorrow will be shaped by the breakthroughs happening in labs today. The development of robots with partially living brains is more than just a scientific achievement. It's a glimpse into a future where the boundaries between artificial and biological intelligence are increasingly blurred. As we navigate this new landscape, 
we'll need to balance our pursuit of innovation with careful consideration of its implications. The journey ahead is filled with both promise and challenges. It will require collaboration across disciplines, thoughtful policymaking, and ongoing dialogue about the ethical implications of these technologies. The era of biorobotic intelligence is here. How we choose to shape it will determine the course of technological progress for generations to come. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.